Another early chapter this week, and I'm not going to lie, this one kind of blew my mind. We continue on with the Irene versus Urza and Wendy fight. And I must say, I really enjoyed the interactions between Irene and these two. And I feel as if if you had to pick the perfect two to, to fight against Irene, it would definitely be these two for interaction purposes, not necessarily for who would have the best chance of beating Irene. But as we did see in this chapter, they somewhat beat Irene, but I'll get into that a bit later. The whole thing with Irene, again, the interaction and Wendy basically being able to, like saying that my dragon seed didn't, didn't grow as much as yours did because I had a dragon keep it from growing. And that whole thing where Irene got really pissed off at that saying is not fair and just Again, the interaction in this chapter, I really loved. This chapter overall was really good. I really enjoyed the fight that went on in this chapter. And then Irene realized, wait a second, I couldn't enchant myself into you, but, talking to Ursa, I mean, but maybe it's based on compatibility. I mean, she sits there and takes a sword to the head and switches her body into or switches her mind into Wendy's body I must say Mishima has stepped up his game in his storytelling these past few chapters I've really enjoyed Irene's character I believe she's a really good villain and so far definitely the best brigand is she my favorite? I don't know. Even though Wall didn't do too much, I did like me some Wall. Even though, you know, he might have been Irene's husband, but who knows. But when Irene switched into Wendy's body, that just kind of really blew my mind, as I said earlier. And it's a twist that I don't think many people saw coming. And it makes you wonder what happened to Wendy. If they switched bodies, kind of like a Ginyu thing, like uh, Captain Ginyu, then that would mean Wendy could very well be dead. Because she got switched into a body that just had the head cut open by a sword. Or it could be something as both of their minds are in the same body now, and there's no mind whatsoever in the Urine body. And Irene is just suppressing Wendy or something like, along those lines. It's also possible that Irene's body is still alive and they actually did switch bodies, which could lead to the possibility of Wendy finding a way to switch them back considering that she's also an enchant magic user. But that's not very likely because, you know, it's kind of hard to survive a cut to the head, to the cranium. And it just makes me really want the next chapter, even though it's going to be quite a while until the next chapter, because we're supposed to have some type of break over the holidays, but we haven't had it yet. There hasn't been a week where we haven't been chapterless. Uh, even though maybe last week should have been, because we got the chapter, last week's chapter, on this, it should have come out this Monday, but, you know, I'm not exactly sure there. I think we might have gotten a chapter early when we were supposed to be on break, so I'm not exactly sure there. So hopefully there isn't a break next week, or sometime soon. But going into next chapter, I have no idea what's going to happen, because we have Urza versus Windy Belserion, also the name of next week's chapter. And... It makes me wonder what Urza is going to do against somebody like that. Sorry, I just had to brush something off there. And it's just interesting to see what's going to happen next because no one knows at this point. And I've seen a few th people say it seems as if one of them has to die because Urza can either kill Windy or Urza can let Windy Belserion kill her. I say Wendy when, you know, it's Irene. And it just goes back to 
Mishima's storytelling has really gone up. He put all of his effort into a ring. Out of all the Spriggans, he's putting effort into maybe three of them. Larkade, you know, his magic was suspect, but he at least put a little effort into the kind of backstory for him. He's putting a lot of effort into Irene, and it just makes me wonder what's going to be up with August, because why not save the best for last, or the best uh, Spriggan for last to kind of get into their fight and their backstory? It just kind of feels a little bit anticlimactic to have this one amazing fight, and then the next one has a less amazing fight. So it kind of makes me wonder what if we have whatever goes down with Urza and Wendy Belseria next chapter, but the fight doesn't end there, and then we go over to August and I guess to Wall and have that whole entire thing before we ever come back to the Urza and Wendy Belserion thing. I kind of have to put the Belserion every time I say that because I don't want to say just Wendy and I don't want to say Irene either. So that's kind of confusing there. But I will say this. It's an amazing, amazing chapter. I really enjoyed it. I really want to know what happens next. I'm liking it, Mishima. This arc is coming around on me. Even though, you know, you kind of rushed it a bit. He was basically just trying to rush everything and get up to this point. But it was worth the wait. I mean, it's been good so far. Well, you know, the last few chapters, I mean. This kind of last quarter of the arc or whatever. But again, good chapter. Cannot wait till next week. I'll see you guys next time.